big. It's got a lot of depth for, you know, Yeah. What, ladies and gentlemen, Paul, why, go ahead you and introduce me and then I'm going to jump into it. Okay. You Quentin King, welcome. Yeah. Paul here. We're at Music Villa. We're in Bozeman, Montana. Mm -hmm. And Today, we are checking out a very big, impressive sounding guitar. Yeah. So this is an M36. So it's not a triple O or a, you know, mm -hmm. we've talked about the M36 before. Um, this isn't. This is a custom shop, so I shouldn't say it's an M36, but it's... Based on an it, M36. Yes. Okay, uh, so the M, M body is what, you know, if, the, if you took the old Jumbo Martin, mm -hmm. th that's what this body shape is. It's the shape of a Jumbo Martin, yep. but, the, but thin like a triple O or an OM. Mm -hmm. so, so it's very comfortable to hold. If this had the dreadnought thickness, yeah. it would be considered a Jumbo Martin. Gotcha. So we call this one, it, it's either called a 4.0, Four aught, mm -hmm. or we call it an M. Uh, the M36 is a stock model, with, which is this body shape, quad O, and it's a rosewood back and side. It's mm -hmm. got the three piece back on it. Mm -hmm. What we did to this one, custom shop, first of all, it's got a cutaway, yeah. which is pretty cool as you were experimenting. Yeah. Um, on, on this particular one, too, that we do, we do it, it's a little bit thinner top. Okay. So it's just very responsive. It is, you can and tell. you can feel it, right? Yeah, and you can feel the yeah. It, I mean, you can feel it in the guitar, but also just you touch it and it kind of just opens. It resonates. Up more. Yeah. It resonates uh, freely. Yep. You know, solid mahogany neck. Yeah. Um, and you can see we still did the three piece back. Right. Even though it's you know it's all mahogany. Yeah. Um, so that's what also is different. It's not a rosewood guitar. It's a mahogany guitar, mm -hmm. but. The big kicker is this is a short scale. So this is not the normal M scale length. So this is a little bit shorter scale, 24.9. Uh, so it's just a it's just one that we do in the custom shop because it's fun and it I mean, strum it again. That thing is just a it's Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean this this guitar is not gonna last long. Right. No. Somebody's gonna as soon Yeah. Very quickly, somebody's going to pick this up. Yep. And who's going to? Here's what happens on this one. And here's why the M36 and the, this body shape is, is is important for people. Mm -hmm. We've said it before. It's a lot more comfortable for a lot of people in their lap, but because they want a dreadnought, they want the dreadnought sound. But it's the dreadnought's thicker and it's hard. Sometimes it's hard on people's arm. Mm -hmm. This is a great next choice because it's a lot easier to handle. But it still gives you almost that dreadnought tone. Almost this one, I'd say, yeah. definitely gives this you. One, yeah, this one's got this it. one well, for sure. I mean, because you're adding the the thinner top and yeah, uh, short scale. So again, it kind of crunches in a little bit, even though it's not a, a twelve fretter. Right, not a twelve fretter. It is. We're just talking about from here to here. It's a little that shorter. It's almost like a twelve fretter because you you don't feel spread out. Right. I guess. Uh, but I mean, the proof is in. Yeah. That's a yeah. big sound from. A relatively thin body right. guitar, but it's because you got you know all the surface area on this extra yeah. wide lower bout to to really resonate that that thin yeah. top. So. It's just so big. I'd say this one, you know. Yeah. We just played this monster behind us. Yeah. A chuggernaut, if you will. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> I love the chuggernauts. The chuggernauts, yes. Yeah. This one is also a chuggernaut, but it's yeah. a chuggernaut in a small, yeah. manageable body size. So it's that's super cool. And then, then you have for your shredders yep. out there. Yeah. All right. Very navigable. I love it. Quentin King. Yes, sir. Thanks for cool. being here. I know you got to go. You're going on a trip. Yeah, I do. And, I don't uh, want to put these things down. You've had a number yeah. of guitars that. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've uh, filmed a lot of videos. Yeah. And um, I don't. I can't remember where we've done recent series, but I've enjoyed quite as much as I have today. Not well, just because I'm a Martin guy, but just because yeah. all of them, including yeah. the Cordoba yeah. or the Cord Cordoba, depending yeah. on your preference and pronunciation. Yeah. Uh, pronunciation. Yes. <laughs> pronunciation. <laughs> and uh, and this 1960. Yep. Brazilian. Uh, yeah. 28S. Yep. Right. Uh, but but this one, I think, yeah, they've all been amazing. I would love to take any one of these homes. Well, that's I, great. I You've been it. amazing. Yeah. Oh, you're very kind. Yeah. It's good to see you. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna get moving on because yep. I got stuff to do. You got yeah, stuff to do. I, I know yeah. you got to go to a gig. So, thanks for watching, everybody.